joy, joy, joy. It is a lovely, lovely, peaceful, sacred, blessed, tranquil, paradisical evening in paradise. As I rounded the corner, I just felt share this beautiful place with you all. Every day is different. Those clouds in the sky. Look at the bark on the on the trees. Oh, I'm almost out of battery. Let me plug in. Well, I recharger. I did bring that today, and hopefully it is recharging. Hopefully it is charged up. We'll find out. And. I don't know. I don't hear any. Didn't feel anything. Thanks for the love. Let's see. Why don't I see anybody? There's supposed to be a way to see people. Don't have any viewers. Just a love. Okay, there we go. Elizabeth Mary is here. Joy, joy, joy. Thanks for walking in paradise with us. Tonight, you can hear the peepers. You can hear the stillness. Isn't that a funny expression? To hear the stillness. See the stillness. The colors are amazing. Sky blue, cloud white, green grass and green leaves. Very relaxing, very energizing, lovely walk. Yes, indeed, Elizabeth. What state do you live in? This is upstate New York. About three hours from the George Washington Bridge, if you have any sense of New York City and geography. And what state do you live in and are you out walking? in your paradise. Yes, such lovely colors. You could hear some crow there crowing away. And John is here. Joy, 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 John. Thanks for coming in. There's your crow out there. I don't know if you could see him. Oh, here comes, here goes the crow again. Rush hour is coming through from behind us here. We'll just hang on for a minute. Rush hour is over. Ohio. I went uh, white water rafting on a river between Ohio and I think Pennsylvania. Very pleasant day. John, we are upstate New York in paradise. I live around here. Oh my goodness. It's bumper to bumper traffic. There's a second car coming tonight. Which, what state do you live in, John? And are you out walking in your paradise? Mary Elizabeth went out for her lovely walk earlier. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I try to go out early mornings, before 9, and after 4 o'clock in the evenings when the sun is pleasant but not overbearing. You know, close to sunrise and close to sunset. That to me is a real magical time. Ah, the only thing you could see, you could hear, and you can imagine when you go walking in paradise, the smells, the smells of the grass, the smells of the wheat. A little bit further up the road, we'll see this. We'll have the smells of the pine trees. And not even sure what's going on tonight. It just, I felt, tune on the, turn on the live camera. Here's a little birdie up there on the wire, bird on the wire. Leonard Cohn song, Joe Cocker made it well known again. Like a bird 
on a wire like a drunk in a midnight choir I have found in my own way to be free and I have living in paradise oh you know what I'm gonna try for fun I've got a little orb inside of this camera and every time I angle it up to the Sun just the right way there it is orb comes through Where'd that orb go? I think it's being hidden by the uh, comments. Yes, Elizabeth may go out again for a nature walk before it gets too dark. Can't get outside enough at those times, sunrise and sunset. Absolutely lovely. A lot of people tell me they get inspired to go for walks from this series of Walking in Paradise. And we had so many days of rain this last week. Didn't get out so much. And the days I did go out, it didn't rain, but it was kind of gray. And let's see, Tammy is here. Joy, joy, joy. Walking in paradise in beautiful upstate New York. I believe Tammy lives up here too. Are you an Oneonta? Are you that Tammy? If not, what state do you live in? And are you walking in your paradise right now? <laughs> this is nice. You have nothing on the mind. Just walking. Just connecting with nature. Everything is all right in the world. I love those sounds of the crickets. Hi, Susan. Joy, joy, joy. This is where I live. I'm about five hours east of Lilydale. So it is upstate New York still. There will be some looking alike. But this is right around the corner from my place. Thanks for the thumbs up and the love. So I'm losing the network connection. Hopefully you're hearing this, seeing this. I have to get back. There's the connection. Okay, so I lost connection there. It was recording, but we're back live. So, Susan, if you didn't hear me, I was saying that I'm upstate New York, about five hours east of Lilydale, and so it'll look somewhat similar. We're more hilly. They're more flat land, but there are similar energies. So... This is very beautiful. And a friend of mine who's a land dowser, he douses for energy on the land. And he, he said this is the number, how high the vibration is at Lilydale. And then he doused my property. He says it's the same vibration or higher. I've got these magical rocks in the back that are really high energy. And I don't know why, but it's very nice. Here's my neighbor's dog. He doesn't know he's living in paradise. So he likes to woof a little bit. Coming down to my friend's barn. My neighbor's barn. He's got goats and sheep. Not about sheep. He's got goats and chickens and roosters. And he's got two. He's got a crow over here somewhere. Look at this scene. Let's check out this. Huh? And let's see if I could call up my little orb from inside my camera. Oh, orb of orbs. Orb of orbs, where are you? There you are. There's the blue orb. Just call him up there. Anytime there's a sun, get that blue orb to come through. Here comes another car. Holy cow. I guess it's the time of day people are coming home from work. So we'll just enjoy the scenery while that car passes by. Okay. Back 
to the walk. Somebody new just popped in. I believe I see a face. It's a small circle. I'm not sure if that's Susan or somebody else. It's not Susan. So hello. I'm only seeing so many people popping in. They don't show me everybody for some reason. So joy, 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 and welcome to the show. <laughs> Walking in paradise. My neighbor is pulling out all the horse muck so we won't disturb him. Teresa Warren is here. Joy, 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 Teresa. Welcome to paradise. My paradise, anyway. Let's get an orb in here for you if we can. There we go. There's the blue orb for you, Teresa. There we go. Peaceful, peaceful. This is my paradise. Oh, there's a, there's a chicken. Can you see that chicken? There it is. So he's got goats and chickens and two rescue horses. And I'd show you the horses, but Jim is out there cleaning the stalls and he doesn't want to be on camera, so I <laughs> can't blame him. He doesn't know where this is going. So the sky is just beautiful tonight. The air is cooler and clear. Temperatures last night was about 50, mid to high 50s. Yes. So I come out here um, sometimes in the morning, sometimes around five o'clock. It's my two favorite times, seven or eight in the morning before, before nine o'clock in the morning and before sunset in the evening. And you just, I don't know, there's an inspiration in the air. You just need to be out here, calls me. So now we're moving out of that big wide open space and we're moving into more of the wood. So you'll see, here you go, it's all woods over here. And it's got quieter, it's got cooler. I don't know if you could feel the difference. See, we're right now we're walking into the light. <laughs> we're walking into the light, walking into the tunnel of light. Looking for our angels. Someone else has just joined us. I see a circle with a somebody wearing a purple blouse. Oh, that's Teresa. Okay, there it is up in the right hand corner too. Now down here you could see a beautiful pond. Pretty big pond too. And sometimes you could hear a bullfrog or bullfrogs. And on the days where it's rainy sometimes we look on the ground and we see salamanders, orange salamanders. And I spend some of my time taking them out of the middle of the road, putting them on the side of the road so they don't get that rundown feeling. You can feel that, Teresa, yeah. Here, this is the same pond, believe it or not. It's still going on. Ooh, look at those sun rays, look at that. Oh, I love that. Look at those rays of light. There's rainbows. Can you see those rainbows in the, in the sun rays? Can you see the sun rays? Love it. See if I can bring up the orb again for you. Uh, I gotta go over here. There it is. There's the orb. Call up the orb. Do a little dance for you all. Right up into the sun. Wow, it's really got quiet. Really got quiet. We're moving more into the wooded area on the right. There's some airplane up there, but we're coming back to a little open land on this side. This is the end of the pond. And you can see behind these few trees is another big field. And we'll get a glimpse of that too. So, 
I love these walks because there's just nothing, no agenda, nothing to share, nothing to preach. Just being in nature, sharing time together in nature. Teresa loves the salamanders. I saw a salamander called a mud puppy in the creek out back. Oh, you're in Tennessee. Oh, yeah, that's a never heard of a mud puppy. So we have newts and salamanders, and I don't know what the difference is. And I can ask Google when I get off this call. Look at that beautiful nature. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I feel like I'm living in a cowboy movie. I don't know why, but I always wanted to live in a place like this, and I've been doing it for 10 years now. When I was in high school, my father took me to the county employment office to take a, an exam to see, not an exam, but a, a survey to see the best type of jobs that I'm suited for. And every question was like, would you like to be A or B or C or D? Which would you like the most? And every so often they'd say cowboy. And so every time I saw a cowboy, I checked it off. <laughs> and that was when I was like 17, 16. And here I am, the orange cowboy. Just look at this. You can, it just calls you, you feel the energy. Can you feel how vibrant it is there? Right about there, this area, there's so much energy. I wonder if there's a ley line right there. Or maybe an angel line from above. Look at that, what a picture. If you're a painter, Eric is a hustler is here. The PC, the hustler. Eric PC, the hustler Davis. Joy, joy, joy. And welcome to the Thanks for walking with us in paradise tonight, Eric. We are pretty near the end of the walk. We've been enjoying this, this scenery. Teresa says she loves that story. Yeah, Teresa, I actually wrote a song called, well, what did I call it? Something Cowboy, not Orange Cowboy, but it's, I tell the story, that's part of my story. The first part of the story is actually when I was going into second grade. I had I was in first grade, and we were driving around. My family and I were, my folks were driving around looking for a new place to live. And we turned the corner at this one place. Always a pleasure and a treat for thing eyes. For, I, was, I thought you were going to say for third eyes. It's a great third eye. Thanks for the love and the thumbs up. It's a treasure for third eyes, too. It's a treat. Beautiful joy, joy, joy. Thanks for walking with us, Kelly Jean. So I'm telling this story when I was in first grade. My parents were driving around looking for a new house for us. And we turned the corner, and all of a sudden, there, were, there was this... I mean, this was Long Island, right? So I've lived on Long Island six, seven years. And we turned the corner, and all of a sudden, there was this field... And there were cowboys on horses, and they were rounding up cows. And it was like my eyes popped open. It was like I'm living. It's a cowboy movie, a real live cowboys. In, it's not in the movies. I just like, I almost jumped through the window of the car. I was so excited. And we wound up living like right around the block from there. And just for whatever reason, my whole life, I always related to the cowboy aura, the cowboy mystique, the nature, and not, not obviously not the, the bad stuff that happened with cowboys and Indians, but there was a TV show called Broken Arrow, and it was between this white man and an Indian, and uh, they, be, they were blood brothers, they were friends, that's what I related to. So, the spirit of the cowboy, being free, being in, with their horse, being in nature. Ah, nothing better. Except I don't have a horse yet. But I had Pegasus come to me the other night. That was really cool. And I just talked to someone who wants to create a horse farm for veterans. 
to heal. So maybe that's in my future. I think that's what the dream was all about, showing me Pegasus. Well, I'm getting more and more in my dreams to bring more light to the world in everything I do. So even in my energy and my voice, when I play the piano, even though the piano sounds the same, I'm imagining and seeing and feeling light drops, drops of light coming through. And I see drops of like it's raining light. It's raining angel light, angel drops. So let's see, here's another house with a, can't really see the pond over there, but it's right behind those little bushes. Very still. We're coming to the end of the reception area. Once I cross past this mailbox, we start to lose reception. So if anybody has any questions they want to ask about anything, now's the time to do it. As we wrap up Friday night. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. When I get back home tonight, I'm going to be doing a angel card reading show on Facebook here live. And then I'll do one on YouTube. And if I'm really crazy, I'll try to do them both at the same time. <laughs> and why not? <laughs> so if you've seen my angel card readings, I did one just a few days ago. Oh, I did one Thursday, yesterday. I did one yesterday on Facebook. So if you scroll down, you'll actually see the angel card reading show. Oh. Losing connection. Let me get back up here. What happened to the connection? Losing connection. It's recording, so I'll keep talking. I don't know what's happening to people watching this. If it froze up on you, or it probably froze up and said temporary lost connection. Wow, it's taken a long time to get that connection back. There it is, okay. We're back, I, I walked right out of the connection there. Kelly Jean, joy, joy, joy. Whoops. Wave to you. Shirley Mueller, Gritzgott in Germany. So I'm going to stand here for a minute because right over there I walked out of connection at that mailbox. I lost connection and I had to walk this far back to get into connection. So in about an hour from now I'll be home and within the next two hours on Facebook I'll do a Facebook Live on angel card reading and play some games and anybody who wants a reading and I've done a few I did one yesterday and I've done a few on YouTube and I may try to get them both up at the same time see how that goes and uh, so that's not uh, coming up i am probably just have some dinner when I get home so it'll be a half hour to get home and then so Figure in an hour and a half. You can, if you're interested, get some angel card readings and some channeling messages from the angels. So I'm going to say thanks for walking in paradise with us tonight. And I'm going to be going out of range soon. And I'll see whoever comes in later tonight for angel card readings. Mm -hmm.